Testing robots for a trip into space brought both successes and setbacks at a summer program for 30 talented and gifted students held at the Howard B. Owen Science Center in Lanham. Sponsored by NASA, the Maryland State Department of Education, and the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, the two-week space engineering program challenged students to simulate a space mission right out of today's headlines. Tell me what it is that your robot's supposed to be doing. It's really supposed to be going across the pipe so that it'll take ultrasonic pictures for a topographic map. And this is a simulation of what actually takes place in space if you're looking at the topography of what, like uh, the lunar surface or of a planet? Correct. After getting acquainted with software they'd never seen and learning how to program, in some cases for the very first time, the students then built and tested their topobots, or topographic robots, to gauge the hazards of the lunar surface. Assorted craters and ridges represented in this case by pieces of styrofoam, all to help them build and then launch a rover robot in a vicarious search for ice on the surface of the moon. The second part is the topographic map. So they have to create a ro uh, robot using their own design. So we will just present them the materials, the programming part. They have to do the math, they have to do the science, the engineering part, which is to design the robot. And um, they have, right now they're testing. So the next part is to create the rover, program the rover, and search for lunar ice. Of course, keeping a robot stable enough to collect accurate data is often easier said than done. Would you feel Yay, comfortable yeah. with the accuracy of this mapping? No. no. Okay? You're going to send something up there that costs a couple billion dollars to build, right? So you're, you're not quite sure if this is a high point or not. They're having a lot of difficulty with um, the whole idea of stability when it comes to the robots that they have to make and also the programming, because we sort of went over a lot of the different elements of the programming. However, because they've never really programmed before, they have a little difficulty of sort of coming up with their own unique ways to approach the software. Um, the biggest challenge would have to be dealing with the gears, really, because after we built it, a lot of people were telling us how complicated it was, and we realized that, so, we had to really strive to make it work, to make the uh, gears not pop. Still, the amateur engineers and astronauts seem to take their errors in stride, knowing that scientific triumph is always hard won, and that preparation now and lots of confidence are what will eventually win the day and find that extraterrestrial ice. To what do you attribute your success? Is it teamwork or smarts or what? Teamwork is the most one you gotta have when you're building stuff. Teamwork. Absolutely right. There's no I in team. Godspeed to all the students making their way into space and science careers without ever leaving planet Earth. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.